Grabe, I missed you. OMG, Olga! Grabe, it's been so long since I last saw you. It's been uh, six months, ano? Yeah, it's been so long na nga. How are you? Kumusta ka? What did you do the past six months? I haven't heard anything from you. Grabe, I was so busy last summer. Sorry ko hindi man na ako nakapag-message. I was so busy with the Paris Climate Change Convention for discussion and research with other scientists. Hoy, kamusta na kayo? I miss you too. Sorry, I wasn't able to send you guys a message. I was busy the whole summer because I attended the Climate Change Convention. OMG, is it the Paris Climate Change Convention? Yes. Why? Where are you there? Yes, I was there too. Nice. What did you guys do in there? What is that again? Paris Climate what? Ah, the Paris Climate Change Convention. Basically, it is a binding international agreement between countries to participate and implement necessary actions to fight climate change. Oh, is that like the reducing of fossil fuels? Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Actually, that was one of the main issues tackled in the convention. The problem with it is so massive that the scientists call for a collective action just for us to reverse the adverse effect of climate change. Yeah, and according to one of the convention speakers, her name is Miss Leia Guerrero, uh, we only have 12 years left to stop and avoid activities that further contribute to the effects of climate change. Oh, I think I've read an article about this one. If I can remember it correctly, the article says that everything is so critical for the next few years that we have to maintain Earth's warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius because if not, the risks and effects of climate change will worsen and we will experience more drought, more floods, and even more heat. And that is very harmful for our health. And the main culprit of these effects that we are currently experiencing right now are the fossil fuels company. And take note, there are only 90 of them. Imagine how only 90 companies can cause this massive and adverse effects globally. I mean, it is so alarming. What's more problematic about this issue is the fact that the Paris Agreement is voluntary. So even if there is an agreement, the fact that it is voluntary we will not be able to resolve this issue of climate change. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I mean, for permanent change to exist, fossil fuel companies must acknowledge their terrible contribution to climate change and be open to adapting new business models. We should be able to draw the line when to stop, most especially when the world is the one that is at risk. If these companies won't participate and promote sustainability, the most vulnerable individuals will continue to experience the horrible effects of climate change despite our individual actions. Exactly, everything that you have said is a totality of the whole crisis that we are experiencing right now. With all of this, it is very obvious that the climate change is also an issue of human rights, just as what Leia Guerrero said in the convention. With all of these being said, I can't help but ask this question. If we are already in a climate emergency, you know, having only 12 years left to save the Earth, and everything like that, why is that the Paris Agreement wasn't meant to oblige these companies to adapt a new business model? You know, the call for urgency in what they were being asked to do doesn't really align at all. And this leads me to a second question, and is that, and that is, is the Paris Treaty really meant to prioritize the well-being and safety of the people? Or of these companies and just make it seem like the government is doing something to address these concerns of cli on climate change? Well, yeah, that's a fair take. It is really a bit questionable rin naman talaga. Because the way the treaty is structured, the assurance that these company and government will participate proactively upset. Basically, the treaty fails us to give us the assurance that we will be able to prevent the adverse effect of climate change in 12 years time. I totally agree with you. We do not have any standard, matrix, or target on how much emission must be eliminated every year. With this, we don't know if these companies or our government will truly make an impactful contribution to this problem. I think probably the best way to address this concern about the Paris Treaty is to really restructure the whole argument. The committee assigned by the UN must set a yearly target by how much carbon emissions must be reduced every year. And they should even implement a penalty fee every time a country or company doesn't meet this goal and even do annual reports on this. I mean, this is the only way for us to really make sure that everyone is doing their part 
and that all of us are contributing fairly to achieve our goal, which is reversing climate change. Wow, that's a very sensible and feasible suggestion. Countries have been doing a similar things with their own development plans, such as Ambition 19 2040 of our government. So, I don't see any problem with why we can do the same things with the Paris Agreement. Yeah, I totally, totally agree. Ma'am, sir, di pa po kayo order? Kanina pa po kayo nandyan eh.